Hello. Just wanted to drop by while I had the opportunity and while I had the house to myself. You know how that goes. <laughs> um, and I just wanted to make a quick video. I've had some requests aside from my spiritual video diaries that um, to to do some videos that um, just me singing. And so I do appreciate you asking that. And so this is for those who do and whoever else wants to watch. But of course, I have to say a couple of scriptures to go along with what I'm about to sing. Um, I had some things come to my mind while reading this today. And so, um, it's in Romans chapter 8. And I just want to tell you today, because um, I've been to this place. I have been to a place before where I felt like I was, I was so discouraged. I was so weak. Um, I felt like I was kind of dry spiritually. And I didn't know how to pray. I did not know what to say. I held to the faith. I knew that God was there. And I knew that I would end up coming out of what I was in. I just didn't know how. I didn't know how I was going to get out of it. I didn't know how I was going to come through. And um, and I just did not know how to pray. And so, and I know there's got to be somebody out there today who feels that way. And um, I wanted to tell you something. Um, I went, it was a couple years ago. Uh, sorry, there was a hair. But we have we have a youth camp each each summer. And so each each youth camp that we have, of course, a lot of us, we end up coming out stronger and we just get so much, oh, so much strength and, and the power that the Lord just rains down upon that place and just a chance, the opportunity for one week to everything else in this world, all the distractions, all the stuff, it's, it's so good to get away from it. I encourage you, if you're a young person today, to go to a wonderful youth camp. Um, I would love for you to even come to mind and if you're interested, please contact me, but um, I would love for you to. But anyway... It is just a wonderful experience. It's like it, it brings you to a new level with the Lord, to to a place that it, it seems I'm not going to say you can't get there any other way, but it is just a wonderful experience, and it is definitely it has definitely been a big reason why I'm why I am where I'm at today, and a big learning experience, big growing experience in Him and um, His Spirit, just feeling His Spirit in such a way that is better felt than told. And, um, but anyway, so I came out a couple years ago of youth camp, um, feeling so strong and I was determined. I testified even, and I just felt like I was ready to fight anything that came my way and stuff. And I had testified and, and I, I was just, I was not, I was determined. I was not going to let myself get back to go back to any other place, to let myself fall, to let myself get weak again and let the enemy have place in my life. But unfortunately, a couple months later, um, I had allowed myself to get weak again because some things came up in my life and um, something hit my family really hard and um, Satan just came in and and just tried to destroy everything I was I was dealing with questions not understanding why and I, I know I kind of covered that in my other video but I just did not I did not know why I was thinking why was it my family something that that was put together and yet Satan coming in trying to tear everything apart I don't want to give too many details you know tell my whole life story but um, but I just know that there's got to be somebody out there that's struggling with that and um and I let myself get so weak and honestly got to a place that I'd never been before and people try to tell me tell me I need to go to a therapist and different things like that because I got I mean this is for real at, even at my age you might not think it's it's possible, but at my age, I was having nerve problems. I was like, because I, I wanted so much. I would dwell on things and want so much to have everything back the way it used to be. And um, But at the same time, I knew it was out of my control and there was nothing I could do about it. Because I know that God can move in a mighty way. And, and by our prayers, He can move in ways that no man can move. But there was a situation that happened. And it was out of my control, and but I was I was I was really feeling like I was at the bottom, and I, I was jerking. That's how bad it had gotten. And my mom was really really worried. She was really worried about me. And I mean, I would just sit there, and I was like, I just I could not stop. I would shake. I would I would jerk, and I was just so weak. I had to force myself to go to school. I had to force myself to do all kinds of stuff. And to be honest with you, I, I missed some school because of it. Um, 
I just, I wasn't in the right frame of mind to be able to be around people. And, um, it was just a very, very awful thing. And, uh, which I praise God, even though the situation hasn't changed, that, um, He's given me strength to get through it and to continue to get through it for the rest of my life. But, um, and I'm very thankful for that. And, uh, and I like to tell people that He has a backup plan for those who serve Him with their whole hearts. When things fall through, when you feel like you've been um, abandoned, when you feel like you've even been mistreated or something like that, if you are serving God with your whole heart, He's got a backup plan for you. He's not going to let you be harmed. He's not going to let His plan for you be ruined. Because it is not our fault of the choices that others make. And um, He's going to have His hand upon your life. As long as you do what you need to do and do your part to draw close to Him. But anyway, so I went to youth retreat and um, the, a few months after youth camp and feeling in the shape that I was in. And I was so ashamed that I got myself in that place. I tried to hide it. But during the preaching that night, I remember at youth retreat, it wasn't even a part of his message, but he kept bringing something over about how he felt like there was somebody there struggling with depression. He was actually already done with his message, and he came back with a microphone, and he said, I feel like there's somebody here. The Lord just kept putting in his spirit. There's somebody here that's struggling with depression, and you need to step out and come to the altar. And I, there was probably others struggling with it as well, and I wasn't aware of it. But I knew that it was coming straight to me. I knew that the Lord made him feel that for some reason because it was me. I was the one. I was the person who was struggling with depression, who was about to give up. I felt like I was seriously about to give up. I never wanted to quit the Lord because he's only done me nothing but good. You know, and, or he's never done me nothing but good. But, um, but I, I just, I, it's not that I wanted to quit him. I love the Lord with all my heart. But I just got so weak. I got so tired of fighting. I got so tired of, of having to go through trials. But we must face it. We must, as Christians, as anybody, anybody in this world, if you're a human on this earth, then you're going to face something. But praise the Lord, as Christians, we actually have someone that we can depend upon. And we know that God is going to bring us through. But I want to read these scriptures before I sing the song. And I'll try to hurry up. I'm sorry. Um, Romans chapter 8, verse, uh, verse 26, starting there. And uh, so if you don't know how to pray today, listen to these ver this verse here. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. 27. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. This next verse here, it doesn't really go along with what I was about to, what I was trying to cover. But I love this verse. And, um, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. So whether or not you're facing something today and you don't know how you're going to come through, you don't know why it's happening to you, you don't know why you're, it's so dark around you, and you don't know how there would be any good come out of it. But if you're a child of God today, God promises, He tells us in His Word, that He will make good things come out of what you're going through. We know that all things work together for good to them that love God. So... They work together. We might not understand it, but He's going to pull it together. And He's going to make something good out of it. So I'm so thankful that He's turned so many uh, situations around for me. And made it good. I'm so thankful that for that. And for allowing me to learn lessons. And for me to learn that He is always there. He is never going to fail me. He is never going to let me down. He's always going to come through. He is faithful over and over again. And I am so thankful. not mess up on this song, but just try to pay attention to the words, if you will. At times I've been so burdened, I didn't know how to pray. Through my tears I struggled just to find the words to say. Confused and frustrated, no matter how I try, until I found the answer.
have learned the secret. There is power in my prayer. It can pull down in a moment the strongholds that are there. And I become dependent when I'm driven to my knees. That you were ever present to intercede for me. So pray. I'm so thankful that He allows the Spirit to come and, and to help me pray, to take it to the Father. I'm so thankful for that, for Him coming through for me and for hearing my cry, for hearing my heart, even when I feel like He doesn't. I'm so thankful that He hears my heart. And and although sometimes when I, I'm just sitting there and I'm just crying and not knowing how to pray, yet He comes through. I'm so thankful for that. And I wanted to say, I didn't finish what I was saying about at the youth retreat. When he said somebody was struggling with depression, I knew, before I knew it, my legs went out in front of me. And I started walking to the altar. I knew I couldn't turn back after that. I got down on my knees, and I just I just sat there crying. And I, honestly, I didn't know. Like I said, I didn't know how to pray. I was so weak. And, and I'll be honest with you, and I'm ashamed to say this. But I told the Lord that I needed somebody to come and pray with me. I needed something. I need him to come by somehow to some, for somebody to help me. But I wasn't going to say that to anybody, you know. But I told the Lord, I, w I was actually determined in my mind. If he didn't send somebody, send somebody in the next minute, that I was going to get up and walk back to my seat without the victory. I was going to go defeated. And I was almost at the point, I almost gave up. I almost gave up. That's a song, actually, that we sing. But I was seriously to that point. I felt like I'd, that I had had as much as I could take. And I can't believe that I, I really was determining that I was, I was about to give up. And about to leave without the victory. But thank God, He cared about me so much. He didn't have to do this, but He cared about me so much. That within that same moment, as I was, I was seriously fixing to push myself up from the altar. And go back and sit down. At that very moment, somebody came and put their arm around me and started praying for me. And they told me that the Lord was telling them, of all things that they could have said, they said that God has called you and He still wanted to use me. Even though I let myself get so weak, He still cared about me so much. He still came by. Although I had felt Him and allowed myself to get down in that way. 
knowing that He was everything that I ever needed. And why would I want to turn to anything else? But yet, He loved me so much that He sent somebody still by my way to remind me that He has called me. He loves me. And if I just keep coming to Him, then it will be so worth it. So if you feel that way today, just know that He loves you. He already sees. He knows what's going on in your life. He knows what's your future. He's not, it's not like He's unaware of these things. He, he has you right in the palm of His hand. And don't feel like you're alone. Don't feel like you're going through something that He doesn't know about. He knows about it all. He's going to bring you through it. You hold to His hand. Don't ever think about giving up because why would we want to turn to anything else? He's everything that we need. He's our strength. He's our, our comfort. He's the encouragement that we need. He, he has all power. I'm so thankful to be serving someone who cares about me. Who cares about me. That He would send His only Son to die up on that cross for me so I could be saved and so I could go to heaven. I've said that in the last video, but I'm just so thankful. I can never say enough of how much, how thankful that I really am to be serving the Almighty God, the One who has, who has power over on there's victory in His name. I'm so thankful for that. And so I just wanted to leave you with that today. And I, I just, um, I'm just so thankful for everything, everything that the Lord means to me. And uh, I hope in some way that um, you will realize that as well. And just hold to His hand. Turn to the Word of God. That's what we need to do today. Don't try to make it on your own. And pray. Cry out to Him. He knows your heart. And know. Know that the Spirit. Just know that the Spirit will take our prayers to the Father. He will intercede. Thank you, Jesus. So you all have a blessed day or night or whenever you're watching this. And uh, I love you all and God bless.